start here. Uh, you're gonna be kneeling, and I'm gonna be looking for uh, control on my hands. Most of you guys have done this one before, uh, but I wanna make sure that your answers are solid. Okay, I'm gonna grip the hand, thumb at the palm, grip the hand, and look at how I start turning the hand inwards, and I do so without like, overexerting or, or anything. I'm just like, I'm just turning the hands in, right? I'm looking for like a hand, hand control here, hand manipulation, playing mercy, right? Getting his elbows to turn outward. This is gonna lead to my entry, it on the belt, okay? And then from right here, I'm gonna pick my side, okay? So uh, typically you're gonna you're gonna get your side picked by by like what what side he puts his head on or what side he will be with your head on, okay? So if my head's looking this way, I'm typically gonna move my butt back this way, okay? If my head's on this side, I'm typically gonna move back this way, right? But if I'm here and say I pick my head on this side and Joe goes and puts his head underneath mine, or let's go to the other side, like, yeah, he goes and puts his head underneath mine. Guess what? He just picked my side for me. Thanks, Gil. Grab the wrist. Grip on the belt is still strong. Make sure that we're following our principles here. My knee is not turned in to where he can flatten me out. I keep it flared outside of my arm. Okay, I control the posting hand. The bottom foot is not gonna be hooking on the leg anymore. I'm gonna be putting the pinky toe onto the mat. Okay, and then when I fall, I wanna fall to my edge. Okay, there's a, a U on my back, right? And I wanna stay on that U, like from shoulder blade, tailbone, shoulder blade. Okay, you wanna stay somewhere within that region. When I'm here, I don't want to fall back like this and try to hook sweep. Okay, I want to fall back to my edge here. And that brings us to our final, our final point here, is I want to take my head out of the way. This is kind of new knowledge for me, and I've been testing it out and having good success with it. Um, my head goes from being on this side. If I fall flat here, and I fall over this side, Gil has the opportunity to be able to put his head right underneath mine, right, and, and flatten me out and kill my sweep, right? But when I take my head out of the way, it allows me a hole to put him into, right? I can also look through my technique. Okay, let's go this one. Okay, so make sure your butterfly guard is strong. Uh, concepts on this is that I always try to keep my shoulders forward, my hips, right? I'm not playing butterfly guard like this, you know, or, or like this. This is not butterfly guard. This is butterfly guard, okay? I'm flaring that elbows out. I'll get my entry to the belt, okay? And then remember what I was saying, um, just for the sake of, uh, Showing, showing to you guys. I'll put my head this way, and then go, when he goes and puts his head in, right, and uh, if my head's still this way, I can still turn, right? But if he brings his head forward of mine, right, and starts getting me to turn back this way, you might see me sweep this way, right? Now I got the grip, the control on the arm. It doesn't really matter if it's like a triceps grip or a hand grip, or maybe his hand's on the mat and I just pin it there, okay? As long as I can control it, I'm gonna be good, even if it's on the mat. Some of you guys have that question like, okay, well, what if I can't? Get off the mat. That's okay. I'm still going to be able to make the hook sweep work. Okay. Following the other principles, toe is going to be on the mat. Okay. When I'm pulling Gil up, I want to make sure that I'm loading with this hook and then making it to where I can push off of the earth with this foot. Okay. I'm going to go to my edge and I'm going to get my head out of the way. And if his hand's on the mat, you're going to see me look, try to take him over, over that hand. Okay. Go again. Okay. So this way. Grip on the hands. In to enter in, he brings his head to the inside, forces my head the other way, that's cool. Grip on the wrist. Now I'm already in position. I'm just gonna get my head out of the way. I'm gonna bridge off of the foot that's onto the mat, okay? And I can take him over with the hook sweep. If you guys find yourself like in this quarter guard type of position with an underhook, hand on the mat, and you feel like this guy's turning into you, well, I could just work my way right into my knee cut. Or if his, his guard's wide open, then you'll see me. Just take my foot off and, and come to a strong mount. Okay, one more time. Okay, grip on the hands, turning the elbow out. out. Okay, I find that grip on the belt. Keep the belt, uh, belt grip, guys. It's hard for him to disconnect from this. All right, he works his head to the inside. He's decided my, my direction now. Even if this hand stays on the mat, that's great. Pinky toe here. I'm gonna get my head out of the way, and I'm gonna make it to where I can sweep him over. Take him right over that hand if I need to. Cool? Questions on this one? No? Okay, let's drill on two. One, two.